Welcome everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well. So, today we've got a dev blog, let me just untake this, for War Thunder, and it is a spring crafting event, the USS Davis, DD395 Destroyer. Quite an interesting ship, quite a bit of information about it. So, yeah, a very nice looking ship, as you can see there. Uh, we're not going to read the whole thing, I'm just going to talk about the ship and then we will move on and important information. The USS uh, Davis destroyer will become one of the main prizes in the spring crafting event that will start in War Thunder on April 7th. USS Davis destroyer US rank 3 premium. Very nice. Uh, Anti-fragmentation protection in the engine room and transmission. Good speed, fast firing, short range AA batteries. So let's click on some of these pictures. Mm, very nice, very nice. This is quite nice actually. I'm liking this. It looks very nice. But guides in all the ships are very nice. I'm not going to read through all of this. I uh, might read through this. 127 millimeter caliber guns, a good selection of shells also found, high explosive fragmentation shells, two types of common shells, semi-AP as well as a high explosive shell with a radio fuse, unfortunately turret are highly vulnerable to any enemy fire and do not have effective protection against sharp, shrapnel and automatic gunfire. Uh, the engine room transmission groups are protected by a uh, 12.7 millimeter armor from the sides and from the deck such protection will be more uh, once help commanders out of being hit by enemy HE shells so uh, quite a nice looking boat um, I'm actually quite enjoying it it looks quite nice sorry I'm not enjoying it it looks quite nice it's uh, yeah so okay otherwise the gameplay of the Davis is the same as the Somar the main caliber is uh, four double barrel turrets with the Mark 12 5 inch 30, 38 127 millimeter caliber guns that we've read. And uh, I could swear I just saw some torpedoes. Uh, don't see it mentioning anything. So, another little interesting this part this uh, boat is part of the Solma, Solma, Solma class. Um, yeah, the Silmar class of ships, uh, destroyers, from World War Two. So let's just get a bit of history. There's quite a, uh, I could quite have found a, quite a bit of, um, I want to say interesting facts, but the real history of the ship. So the name is the USS Davis, namesake Charlie Harry, Harry Davis. Builder was the uh, Beth Ironworks, laid down in 28th of July, 1936. Launched 30th of July 1935, decommissioned 9th of November 1945, uh, struck 1st of November 1945, and fate sold 24th of November 1947. I couldn't find who it was sold to, so maybe other YouTubers will be able to give you more information. Uh, didn't check now for other things but it's got a top speed of 38 knots I presume it would be because it said KT and I'm not sure what KT is one battle star World War two service the ship apparently was involved in D-Day operations uh, it was on a lot of escort operations um, yeah so okay there I do see 20 millimeter Orkneys a uh, six single barrel 20 millimeter Auck Auckland's Guns which have proven themselves well destroying aircraft at close range and also uh, dealing with boats. Yeah, they're very effective, all round handy, but dandy little gun. So yeah, it, it, it is, it's, uh, this is the information I've got. It's, like I said, it's quite a bit. It's got a, quite an up-to-date history of the ship. I wonder if it's got a service record that comes with it and the warranty. But yeah, very nice. Um, I like it that it received one battle star for World War II for services. For its service, I mean, it did a lot of escorting around the world. It was escorting um, supply ships all over. It even took part in the D-Day operations. It was off the Gulf of Mexico, off the Caribbean. It, it was Europe. It was England. The ship was really all over the place. It, I think this thing could 
if this ship could talk it would write one hell of a book tell you a lot of stories so they're very nice i do like seeing these smaller ships um they do do really like it um really enjoy hopefully i will be able to take part in this crafting event coming up i am working on getting a graphics card so i yeah i'm working hard on it um hopefully very soon and then i'll be back into the thick of war thunder and i will be getting along with everyone again and playing some having some good fun times and building some memories so yeah uh, that's all i've got to say about this so keep an eye out for the 7th of april did, did, did i say the 7th of april uh, yeah the 7th of april for the next up crafting event i will keep everyone updated and i will keep you guys in tuned about like uh, what's going to happen next on the with the crafting event what other vehicles are coming forward i'm gonna guess this crafting event will be the same as all the others collect do it uh, play 10 minutes in a game achieve uh, uh, get rewards craft and that's how we will be able to move on last year i almost got all three so the last crafting event I almost got three out of four so i don't know if i'll be able to but if i am i will definitely be taking part in this so thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that like don't forget to hit that subscribe don't forget to hit the dislike don't forget to leave a comment it's all mighty appreciated thank you so much for watching the channel and keeping the hope alive thank you really much i'm mighty appreciated and i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye